Knowing the secrets behind the condenser in Power World can be one of the best ways to boost your power stats, increase your base's efficiency, and even increase your own speed and damage output. Today, I've got a full comprehensive guide for you on everything you need to know about the PAL condenser, going over exactly what it does, how to use it, and some tips on speeding up that process. Hey everybody, my name's Ben, and welcome back to another PAL World Guide video. We're gonna jump straight into it, but if you wanna check out a particular part of the video that you're interested in, then I'll put a full chapter listing down in the description below. And if you find any of today's video helpful, full at all, then click on like and drop a sub to tell the algorithm you said hi. So the condenser in Power World is a machine that you can build from the ancient technology tab when you hit level 14. You'll need two ancient technology points to unlock the Power Essence condenser and you can get those by beating bosses for the first time. You get a point for each time you beat a boss, get two of those and level 14 and you can unlock the condenser. What this somewhat morbid looking machine does is power up one of your powers by using the essence of a load of other ones. It's essentially a giant juicer that you chuck a load of powers in and then you feed that to one of your other powers and they get stronger. To quickly demonstrate, I'm just gonna grab a random Vixie that I've got here and we'll show you just how it works and then we'll go into a bit more detail of why you should be using it and what it's particularly good for. So in order to use the condenser, you need to open up the UI here and then the first power you select is going to be the power that you're going to increase the stats of. So we want to level up this Vixie that we just put in our party here with the runner passive skill. Select that Vixie and they are going to be the one we level up. We then need to put in a bunch of powers of the exact same type in order to use them as essence. You can see at the bottom left of the screen it says in inventory there's eight so I know I've got eight Vixies sitting there and for the first level we need to put four in to do that. So we click these four you can see it's filled up in the middle there and it says begin condensation we do this and you can see in the middle it says max health attack defense going up and dig here is going to be level two so when we do this that's going to consume those four vixies they've now been deleted essentially and this vixie at the top here now has one star underneath its profile picture on the right hand side there now you can use the condenser up to four times per pal to go up through those different star levels and each time you use it it's going to require more and more pal essence you see if i select the same vixie now it's going to say i need six 16 essences in order to level them up to level 2 so that would require 16 more vixies to be dumped inside of this to take a power from level 2 to 3 you need 32 pals and to take them from level 3 to level 4 you need 64 pals so in total that's 116 pals in order to get one up to max level now there's various different benefits you get from leveling up these pals as well as the obvious in the middle you can see the health attack and defense going up it also levels up their partner skill and that is where it says dig here. If we go to my party here and view power details, partner skill is what you see here on the left underneath the name and the level of this power. It says partner skill dig here level two sometimes digs up items from the ground when assigned to the ranch. The Vixie, if you didn't know, you stick it in the ranch, it digs up power spheres gold and arrows and all the powers in the game have a partner skill like this some of them require you to craft a saddle or a collar or gloves in order to be able to use that and some of them like the vixie don't require you to craft anything you can see the ragnarok here for instance applies fire damage to the player's attacks whilst mounted the catrus makes neutral powers drop more items when defeated wixen applies fire damage to players attacks and all of the different powers that you have have some sort of partner skill that will either buff you or the pal or have some sort of other ability. Now you can take these up through four different levels by condensing and some of them are more useful than others. We'll go over those in a bit more detail in just a minute. The other key thing that you can upgrade by using the condenser is work suitability levels on your pal. So when you take a pal up to max level, up to level four, then all of its work suitability skills will get plus one level. So if we leveled up this Wixen to max level, for instance, it would get kindling three handiwork four and transporting three and i can actually demonstrate this for you right now with this rush or i've got one at three stars that's ready to go up to four stars and we're going to do that now so you can see the process i find it easier to chuck the one we want to level up into your party and then it's quite clear which one you want to upgrade remember the one you select first is the one that's going to upgrade they're going to retain their passive skills so make sure you've selected one with the appropriate passive skill you want to upgrade or you've bred one already 
with the skills you want them to have. It makes sense to do your breeding first or your selection of passive skill first and then condense pals. If you breed off of a pal you've condensed to tier four, they're not gonna pass on any extra levels or bonuses onto pals you breed off them. So you'll need to condense them again after that if you wanted to get them back up to four star. So in the condenser menu, we're gonna select this rush or here, three stars. We need 64 essences to level them up, but don't worry, we've got a lot of piggies ready. You can see in my inventory it says 68, so we know we have just enough. We're just gonna smash all of these. Don't worry if I'm horrendously melting down ones with great passive abilities here. This is just a little test account that I've been playing around on to make videos. So there we go, we've got 64 piggies ready to blend down into a wonderful skill boosting milkshake for Rushor here. Gonna get a boost to their health, attack, defense, and hard head up to level five. And if we go and have a look at our newly upgraded piggy here, you can see it's got hard head level five. We haven't actually bothered building the saddle for that yet because we've not really been using it. But what it's now done is it's upgraded the mining skill to mining level two on this rather than mining one. So it's going to mine quicker and more effectively. As well as that, of course, this was one with artisan, so it gets plus 50% work speed as well. Now, an important thing to know about the work suitability levels going up is that the mining skills work a little bit differently. Mining is the only skill in the game at the moment that different pals need to be a certain tier in order to do different things. All of the other skills, they just mean that they'll do the actions faster. But for mining, you need mining level two to mine ore or sulfur and mining level three to mine coal and quartz. And increasing your mining level by condensing pals does not unlock the next tier. So if you take a piggy to level two, mining level two, this one we've just got, even though it'll say mining level two for them, they won't actually be able to mine ore. You can see you can't be assigned here just doesn't work. Can still attack these depressos that are hanging out over here, but won't be able to mine ore. They're only going to be able to mine stone, but they will be able to do it more quickly. So that's something definitely worth keeping in mind. That may be an intended feature from the devs that may just be a bug or something that will get changed in future. So if that does get changed, I'll make sure I put a comment down in the description below. But generally for pals, that's still going to be a useful thing to do. If you can condense them up to max, then they're going to get a boost to their skills. And obviously having pals with handiwork three, four, whatever skill upgrade means they're going to work quicker and more efficiently at your base. Now, obviously, acquiring 116 of any individual pal type can be pretty tricky, but there's a few ways you can help that process. First up, if you do a lot of breeding, then you can use spare pals from your breeding process. If you're getting pals come out that don't have the skills you want, then you can use those and condense them to level up the ones that do have the abilities you want. Next up is knowing where to look for your pals. Remember, if you go into your pal deck and then find a particular pal, for instance, if we go and find this die how and then we press right trigger it takes us to the habitat tab and you can see on here these orange areas are marked where you can find that pal anywhere on the map so make sure you use that when you go out hunting them also if you are playing on a single player or hosting your own server and you have control of the settings then there is a world setting you can change that will help with pal spawn rates if you adjust the pal appearance rate you can turn that up to three by default it's set on one and what that's going to do is not increase the amount of possible spawn locations for pals but what it means is that every group of pals that spawns there will be three times as many as they would by default so if a group of two piggies would have normally spawned it'll be a group of six if it was a group of three whatevers it'll be a group of nine so you get these massive groups of pals together it does say can affect game performance so be careful with that it does also look pretty crazy when you've got it on three i'm not sure if i'd play on that all the time but i have been using it in order to test things for this video so if you do want to condense stuff you don't mind jacking up your settings that's definitely a way you can do that so a good way to know exactly what's going to be improved by condensing pals in terms of their partner skills is to open the pal deck have a look at the description of it and basically what it says there is what's going to get a buff the die how here moves slightly faster than most mounts and it's going to get a speed boost every time you level it up and there's actually a fantastic resource that's been data mined and posted on the pal world reddit by user blahable so big shout out to them and they've posted loads of information so if you really want to go through and nerd out on the numbers take a look at this and it's going to tell you everything you need to know on it for example it says the dire how you can see when you take it up to two stars that's basically the first condensation level it's going to get a 10 percent speed boost for level three it only goes up another two percent 
level four, another 3%, and then another 5% on max level. So a maximum of 20% speed boost on a dire howl if you condensed it up to max level. It goes on to list a bunch of different mounted pals that get speed buffs from leveling up. Not all of the mounted pals get speed buffs. Some of them have different effects, like we mentioned briefly earlier. Things like the dire howl, where they just say moves slightly faster or can be ridden will level up their speed. But stuff that has another ability, like the van worm here, you can see it says increases player damage to enemy me weak points so it's going to buff that the ragnarok applies fire damage so that is what's going to get buffed when you level that up with the condenser now some of the more interesting partner skills to level up can be the farming ones i recently did a guide on farming and the ranch building if you want to know more about that go check out that video i'll link to it down below but basically when you put different powers into the ranch they will gather items over time and if you level those up with the condenser then that will increase the rate at which they find those items so i've got Got my Sibilux in there, my Melpaca, and a couple of Vixies. They're going to gather all sorts of stuff and they dump it here. You can see I've got spheres, I've got gold, arrows, wool, and high quality cloth that the Sibilux is gathering. But I've actually also got mega spheres in here because one of the most unique upgrades you can get with the PAL condenser is if you upgrade a Vixie to level four or five, so that's the final two condensed levels, then as well as PAL spheres, then they also have a chance of finding mega spheres as well. So a really useful thing to know, and you only have to get them up a few levels. And the rate of mega spheres doesn't actually change when you go from level four to five. So rather than using 116 Vixies in order to level them up to max, you could use 52 to take them up to level three and do that with two, three, or even four Vixies if you're really committed. And then you'd be turning out absolutely tons of normal power spheres and mega spheres. There's loads more useful information on this Reddit post. I'd really recommend you go and have a look at it if you want to see if there's a particular power you like using, you want to see what they get upgraded, then go check it out there's some really unusual stuff on there for instance depresso if you upgrade depresso in the condenser then they just get insanely fast lots of the other ones for instance that just do damage like the fox parks the flamethrower ones that have the penguin rocket launcher etc ones with guns they'll just get damage upgrades ones that do healing will get healing upgrades and most of that's pretty self-explanatory when you look through your pal deck and check out the partner skills but if you have a look in this document then it's just going to give you a bit more information so you can see exactly what kind of buff you're going to get from upgrading those skills so that's everything for today if you found the video useful at all then take a look at some of my other power world tips and tricks videos and drop a like and a sub if you want to stay up to date with all of my upcoming power world content thanks so much for watching my name's ben we are the beard guys and i'll see you next time